I'd like to introduce again our elected officials to provide any brief remarks they'd like to make. I'll start with Mr. Chairman and Chair Bullock. Thanks very much, Larry. We already know um, that this, uh, these bridges have been able to withstand both an earthquake and a hurricane. And uh, so the proof uh, at the end of last week is that, boy, this is well built, or these, these uh, bridges are well built. And, uh, and already we're enjoying watching people coming back and forth on their bikes. And the hot lanes open up new commuting options for people who will be able to use the new lanes for buses and also for carpools, something that we couldn't do previously. Um, and all of this is happening in a way we're essentially rebuilding the entire beltway. New noise walls, new lanes, and we're doing so, I say we, um, in partnership, Fairfax County working with VDOT, working with Floor Transurban, uh, doing so in a way where people are continuing to use the Beltway and life is going on. On time, within budget, our safety record is outstanding. And, uh, and I just would like to congratulate everyone who's had a role in making this such a successful project to date. We're looking forward to being able to finally cut the ribbon and open things up to the new lanes, but these new bridges are really significant. And I remember in the beginning when we were looking at the plans and working with the community and sharing this information, fortunately I'm not an engineer, but I know that we were looking at the challenge of getting this done and keeping traffic, traffic moving and remembering how on earth is this going to happen? How on earth are we going to be able to, uh, to make this happen in a way that uh, continues to provide transportation for folks in the area? So thank you all very much. This is very exciting and appreciate the opportunity to be with you on this gorgeous stellar day. Thanks so much.